Hello and welcome. Well, well, sports this morning is back again. Richie live from Channel TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Austin Okonak, man. Very good morning to you. I'm Yemi at the bio. We're here to take you on a trip across the money spinning world of sports. There's a lot to say uh, this morning, a lot to give to you, but we're here to do justice to that. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy what we have put together for you uh, this lovely uh, day. Well, that's all you got to do. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now let's get on with the show. We're looking forward to that FIFA on the 17 uh, Women's World Cup game between Nigeria and England. Remember, the Flamingos lost their first game to Brazil. Coach Palai Kiyo and his girls will fight out today against England. And right here, football fans in Nigeria, they have christened it a win yeah. or win game. Yeah, mm. that's how it is. Very important one for the Flamingos. Also, it's not just the Flamingos. We told you it's a crucial, busy week for football in Nigeria. The Super Eagles of Nigeria, they are sweating it out in their base in Abuja. They're preparing for the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifying game against the Chipolopolo of Zambia. Sweating it out. A, a must win, that is it. Uh, sweating it out and uh, trying to ensure that everything goes well when we go to Ndola. We'll talk about that much later on the show. But let's quickly tell you that uh, WB. WBA champion Tyson Fury has backtracked on his decision to quit after announcing his retirement on social media. Tyson Fury saying, <laughs> I'm still here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people are saying so many things, um, Austin, mm. uh, mental issues. Some are putting it in. Some are saying mind games. Yeah. Uh, we, 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 we wait to see. Yeah. We wait to see. I call it I call it mind games, but um, of course everyone have already christened um, Fury a joker, you know. But ah, uh, I mean, look, whatever he's doing, he should know that he has a very crucial, big, big fight with Vladimir Klitschko. That second fight will be the fight of his life because in all of this, Vladimir is just staying quiet, watching. He just wants to get back on the ring, beat this guy, and get back his titles. I, I, I think we should take the health issues seriously. Mm. Um, when he pulled out of, this, uh, of the rematch, I mean, this, this will always make you laugh. Uh, it's really a joker. And, and that is why a lot of people are not taking him seriously. But uh, Billy Joe Saunders, yeah. uh, a fellow British boxer and a friend, mm. says that um, Tyson Fury is not in good shape. Yeah, uh, wow. So we should take the mental issues mm. seriously. He says he's feeling sick. It's, I mean, if you look at that rant, so, some, people have, some people I respect say that it was probably uh, Tyson Fury's state of mind wow. and you know that he's been given 10 days to to give uh, give his medical uh, bill of health to so that you know the so WBU yeah, can good. know mm. what is going so I, I think I think he put a lot into the first fight yeah and I, I don't think he has anything left in the tax psychologically Tyson Fury he, I don't think he's available for the fight mm. so what I think will happen especially with this coming from uh, Billy Joe Saunders yeah, his team has already said the best next available time Tyson Fury can be in the ring is next year. Wow. WBO does not like to hear that. That's WBO right. would not want That's to hear right. that. At the end, he's already saying, let's take the belt away from him. Mm. Let the world see uh, Klitschko and Joshua, that everybody, or probably the own take. Once. So we will see how, uh, but not good times. I know, I know. Gave us some good entertainment, and yeah. then um, all those stunts he pulled went into the ring, defeated Klitschko, and uh, since then he's been talking. But uh, going to Twitter, saying I've retired, and coming back three days after to say, no, 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 I'm still here. Oh, maybe, yeah, part of his own, you know, game plan. But we were waiting for October the 29th to see that fight. It's been called off, rescheduled because of you said. Um, I think what we should also wait feet. for is the reaction from the WBO. And where, whether or not they will still say we're waiting for that your medical report or they'll just say okay this guy has gone bonkers let's just yeah. um take take him. but what is sure what we can all take to the bank is that tyson fury is in no shape to fight to fight anybody at any time now okay that's it uh, update coming from uh tyson fury's uh camp it says it's still here he's going to have the fight we don't know when but we're looking forward to that uh rematch between uh, tyson fury and vladimir klitschko yeah, i mean um, maria sharapova you know the story she got banned um, for two years for testing positive to meldonium she appealed yeah to cars 
today will know the verdict. Casa told us that today we're going to know uh, what's going to happen. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be monitoring that one. Everyone is keen. Um, she, she didn't deny using meldonium, yeah. Yeah. Uh, even though uh, it, it was on the list of banned uh, substances. But what is key for me, uh, especially with all this medical data being leaked hmm. uh, here and there, the ITF in their statement, and that's what's guiding my opinion and my okay. decision, okay. what they're saying is that Maria Sharapova did not use meldonium to have any advantage, but uh, that she, she was culpable. Uh, in the sense that th there was neglect, she didn't That's pay right. uh, attention. That's ignorance. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So if you look at it along that line, I think she wouldn't have to wait to, to January 2018 because that's when the ban uh, will be lifted. up. And Ashraf has always told us that, look, I want to end my career, but not like this. Yeah, you know, uh, no, no, you not like this. You won't give all, all of this to tennis and then there's no Just legacy. Just go away. You know, yeah. for, for people to follow. Marash Sharapova, um, experienced tennis player, arguably one of the most I think popular she was just, in the women's circuit. Yeah, she was just negligent. Um, she, she, I don't think she did it, especially now with a lot of people with this medical exemption here and there, people taking a, a, a lot of stuff mm. to, to, to get an advantage. Uh, we'll see what happens. But I, but I have a feeling she's going to be left off uh, the hook. But then mm. we've not seen the, we've not had the last of all of this data being linked, some uh, athletes being discovered to have spiked up the system yeah. because technology is going at an alarming rate. People yeah. are, you know, something you've done 16 mm. years ago can be brought to light now. Then some information people like WADA and IOC mm. Mm. have kept on their apps, trust uh, fancy bears and all those. That's uh, right, I was uh, coming uh, there. All those guys, mm. they're going to mm. bring it out. That's right, I mean, because, I mean, this is really tough for Mara Sharapova in the sense that um, the hands of WADA, it's tied. IT, ITF also, people are watching, Russians are watching, cars makes any decision that they contend favorable to this judgment and then they start talking again. Yeah. So for Mara Sharapova, she's got herself to blame. Uh, yes, anyone can make a mistake, but you don't get a document from WADA and you don't click on the attachment. <laughs> you ignore it. You ignore it. So that's the story. Mara Sharapova uh, appealed a two-year uh, ban that was given to her uh, for testing positive to meldonium. We'll get to hear the verdict of cast. Whether or not that appeal we stand, we will know today. Stay with Channel Sports. We'll give you all the updates. I mean, let's go to Jordan. Crucial time for women's football in Nigeria. Yeah. The Flamingos were expected so much for them. I, I, I said they were unlucky against Brazil. It's a matter of you have your chance, you don't take it, the opponent gets a chance, they take it and you lose. Against England, I said it yesterday, I'm saying it again, we need to win. We have to. Mm. Um, I, I like the way Balan Liku has, um, you know, his comments, the way he's approached the game. He refused to blame his defenders. I like that. He refused mm. to blame the goalkeeper. Uh, he said probably they showed too much respect yeah. uh, for, for, the, for the Brazilians. And of course, one mistake, they had their chances as well. They, 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 didn't, they didn't put it uh, uh, at the back of the net. So we'll see what happens. But my worry, is that you're playing against England that scored three goals in their last game. Wow. Uh, so they know how to find the back of the net. Mm. And, and our first game has showed us that we... we that, that's the match details for you on screen. Uh, Nigeria uh, taking on England. Uh, the venue uh, is what you have uh, on screen. And time, it's 2 p.m. Nigeria time. So you, oh, yeah. uh, you, you can just uh, watch out for that. Yeah. But, but I think if we get our tactics right, England have never, it's at any level, been be, be problem for, for, for the flag. Because this is how it looks... Uh, a, a group C. Doesn't look good for but, us. In any but, way. but after one game, and Balanik, you also said mm. that, that look, the first game of any tournament is always very difficult yes. to win. Yeah. But you can take consolation in the fact that if we beat England, at least we climb on top. Mm -hmm. if Brazil does us a favor. I hate saying it, but that's what it is now. If Brazil does <laughs> us a favor, I beat yeah. Korea. It, it is what yeah, it is. After game one, I can't believe you did this already. What are you doing? It is what it is. So if. <laughs> But, but then again, let me be quick to shock myself. Yeah. If and what if doesn't count in football. Exactly. Particularly, let's imagine after 90 minutes today, it ends in a draw. Becomes really tough for us then again. The and will then come Brazil out. goes on to beat Korea DPR. Then you're, no, you already calculated. I don't <laughs> saying you're doing this after the, after the first match. But it's all good. It's all good. It's, it's all love. Uh, the Flamingos, we want to wish them all the best. We hope that they do something special when they take on... Uh, when they take on uh, their opponents today, England at the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup. So that's the time, 2 p.m., keep a date, and then 
and it um, supports the team. All right, let's go on with the show now. Let's talk about the NBA, Yemi. Um, well, we talk about grassroots basketball development. It's always beautiful. And yeah. for the NBA to look at Nigeria, uh, the partnered Power Forward Initiative and brought over 2,000 students in the FCT. Yeah. When you have people like, no, look, even if they're not playing, we are developing the sport at this level. Look yeah. at that. Uh, it's key, it's, it's important. When, when initiatives like this uh, help us develop the game, and the whole essence is that um, uh, health literacy uh, and life skills being taught through the game of, of, of basketball, that is what is going on um, right now with what you have on screen. And like you said, Austin, um, it, it's a very good uh, uh, initiative. And um, we hope that all of these kids that we see, we invite um, the game mm. uh, at an early stage, That's right. play the game, and learn you That's know, right. the health, literacy, and life skills that um, the game of basketball uh, can help you to gain. Mm. And it, it is always easy using basketball to drive That's right. our own the point, learning character, learning uh, discipline yeah. uh, that will ensure that you are, while you are doing that, you, 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 you are more literate, uh, how to take care of yourself, and how to get the skills um, through life um, to, to you know, make that journey through life Agreed. and be successful. Yeah, yeah, maybe because you know, you see, you see uh, the students, um, a lot of them are not playing, but there are other messages yeah. that will be communicated to them that at this level is very important, you know. And for the guys playing, valuable experience, you yeah. know, to come out at this stage and then play basketball. You know what? Let's leave the talk to the guys, the guys that organize the competition, uh, the NBA supporting grassroots basketball development in Nigeria. Let's go to the FC to be right back. Don't go anywhere. It is intended to impart life skills training, public health education using the convening power of basketball in youth. The FCT, the Federal Capital Territory, has been a host of this event for these past three years, involving 10 secondary schools, five of them public and five of them private, and to date, about 2,000 students have been impacted by this program positively. The Power for Power program supports the federal government's malaria control initiative and advocacy, which focuses on helping the youths to appreciate the impact of malaria, to be educated around it, so that they can become vehicles to convey the same awareness in their parents, their families, and their, peer, and their peers. The Power Forward program is a program that uses basketball as a vehicle to instill life skills, health literacy, malaria prevention um, into our young people. So I'm very, very glad and happy to see that it's working. You know, as you saw um, the documentary, kids testify themselves on how the Powerful Program actually changed their lives. So today, it's about the kids. That's what it is. It's about the kids. And when we put attention on the kids, we are safeguarding the future. We're developing it. And then it's, it's, um, it's hope for a better tomorrow. There's a lot that basketball uh, teaches. There's, there's a lot that can be achieved um, with the game. Uh, talk about partnership teamwork, ethics, talk about discipline needed That's to right. win. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, li life skills. And even if you, like you said, even if you don't get to play basketball, um, the hope is that these kids can imbibe mm -hmm. all of those life lessons. Yeah. And another thing to take away from the Americans is that uh, they inculcate, that they put all of this into their curriculum. So even if you pass through all of this, so even if you're not, um, if you don't get to play the NBA, yeah. that's why you, you see all of those guys that have passed through this, they've taught life lessons, right. uh, you know, how to take care of themselves, mm. health-wise, how to live in the society, all of those things. Okay. Use it, basketball, take it advantage of the passion. You, mm. you sit a kid down and, and it's like, oh, what kind of play? Uh, right. Makes Jack a dog. But while, while playing, you, you know, spice it up with all of these things. I mean, you don't forget.